Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylon here and welcome to another Marvel Strike Force event video. This time we are starting off with the month of December and the Snowy Spider Spectacle event, which is going to be the first main event in the month of December. Now, this one is a bit of a doozy. Uh, we have a huge gold spending milestone to talk about here. We have Apocalypse Auctions here for Diamonds. Don't expect many of us to be getting that because it's only going to be for the top 1000. Nonetheless, it's something that I want to talk about and uh, how you're going to be able to max out and get as many shards for Spider Slayer as possible because they've lumped in a character release event with a gold spending milestone and an auction for Apocalypse. I really feel that they should have separated out Spider Slayer and, and done a separate event just for this Apocalypse blind auction and then a separate event for Spider Slayer. That's just me. It feels a bit uh, crap, but we'll talk about it in this video. So if you're ready to go, let's boil this down. And of course, where is this information coming from? It's coming from the blog post from Friday. We have the event charts. So you're going to be spending incursion energy, campaign energy, and gold. Those are the three primary methods which you're going to be getting points for this event. I actually have another um, I have another scene for this just to make it easier. So instead of me blocking, you know how I used to complain about uh, the frame blocking it. This is this is how we're looking at the website now. Uh, so I'm in the bottom right. So I'm blocking less stuff. But I'm still here to talk to you guys. So uh, you can see here on the left that uh, basically the numbers are huge. Uh, there's going to be Spider Slayer. So yeah, now I'm blocking this portion, I guess. But now there's Spider Slayer character shards that we're going to be getting throughout this. And I will say that most of you should be able to get at least a three star Spider Slayer. Now, when it comes to character release events, we usually don't get much more than that, right? Like if you're lucky, you'll get a four star and just know that there's going to be a pass after the event at some point for an additional 50 to 100 shards, depending on if you're spending. And of course, uh, farmability within four months. So yeah, you might not get more than a three star. You might not get more than a four star after, you know, the whole, uh, the pass is done and all of that, but that's just kind of the state of things in Marvel strike force right now. So there is a limit to how much incursion energy you can spend. There's kind of two things that are going on right now. Some people have been hoarding their campaign, uh, sorry, their incursion energy in advance for this or how they've been doing that. And I've not been doing that personally. But basically hitting their cap, refreshing uh, 50, 50, 50, you know, every single day and just kind of holding on to it. I don't care that much. I, I also do have a decent amount of gold to spend. And so that's not something that I'm personally doing right here at this moment. But just keep in mind that some people are doing that. It's a bit late, I guess, because I'm kind of talking about that now when people have probably been doing this for the last three or four days now. But it is what it is. Uh, and so we're going to talk about how you're going to get and, and what's the kind of reasonable amount of spider slayer shards and also the spider scarf, which is the event item. If you want to go beyond that, of course, that really just depends on, you know, how many uh, how much gold do you have to spend and do you want to blow it on these orbs? That's another thing that we're not going to be able to cover in this video because they're not going to be there until the event goes live. But, I mean, to me, it sounds like you're getting a teal gear orb, a orange gear orb, and like an ISO ion orb. That's what it sounds like. I don't know what the cost of buying these orbs are. It could be one-to-one. -one. So for the purposes of this video, if you do decide to go the orb spending route, I've kind of done a one-to-one. -one. Like maybe the orb costs 60,000 and you're getting 60,000 points and therefore you're double dipping and getting 120 for 60,000 points. So that's kind of... What, I don't know if that's what's going to be the case, but that's kind of my sort of best case that I'm kind of going over. So let's let's talk about this. We have the new chart running for uh, December for the Frozen Festival. Of course, this is just going to be uh, for spectacular snowflakes and uh, you're going to get special event currency to use for the event store throughout the month of December. And maybe we'll have a separate video talking about the actual event store and what's in it and what's worth buying, those kind of things as well. So keep an eye out for that. Let's jump to Snowy Spider Spectacle. Uh, let's jump back to the other one. Actually, this is fine over here because there's too much showing on the other frame. So Snowy Spider Spectacle, six day event. Again, this is the Spider Slayer release event. Make sure that you're aware of that. It requires gold spending, incursion energy, and campaign energy. Total milestone points, 120 million, but you're not getting there. Uh, 40. Well, maybe if you have a crap ton of gold, perhaps maybe you'll max that out, but I, I definitely won't. 
44 million points is the event mile uh the event item uh that was a copy and paste so my mistake total spider slayer shards in the milestone is 135 uh so that's not even a four star anyway so you know you're probably just gonna get around a three star actually no sorry it, it can be with the leaderboard i forgot actually there is a leaderboard that does reward spider slayer shards and 40 is actually 11 to 25 percent so you might actually get a four star if you really push this but otherwise you know you're probably not you're probably going to be landing somewhere in the three star range you're also going to get a hundred uh sorry the snowflake currency there is the cold hard cash which i think i mentioned down below here so i would say the reasonable spider slayer shards that you're going to get is 70 this is if you get the event item that's how many shards you would get from that he has a 45 shard unlock so that's nice you're also going to have the five from the free claim hopefully so that would bring you to 75 and then with the leaderboard if you get top 25 percent that's 40 shards, and so that'll give you uh, 115, I guess, with the free claim, that kind of thing. So again, like three plus star is probably what's reasonable as long as you get the event item. So just keep that in mind. As of recording this video, we do not know how much the free claims are going to be. Uh, this could be honestly anything. It could be flat milestone points. I don't know how many. It could help, it could not, uh, it could be incursion energy. We'll see, I guess, right, as well. And I'll add that in uh, before the event goes live, or sorry, when the event goes live, I'll, I'll update this and I'll post it on my uh, Discord for those of you who are interested in sharing that with your alliance and anyone else. Total web milestone points, there's a lot here. So this is 15 million towards the 44 or plus that you need for this milestone, uh, of which you need to spend 5,200 campaign energy over six days. To put this into perspective, you need to spend about 100 cores daily into campaign energy to reach this. This is around um, just over 800 per day. I think it's around 850, maybe a little bit less than that. So in terms of what you need to do, it's not the full 200, but you're going to have to do two refreshes, two 50 core refreshes uh, towards your campaign energy to be able to reach this over the six days. So just keep that in mind as well, because you're going to want to save your cores for the incursion energy, which you're going to get way more points. If you do this part of the web milestone, you will also get 8,000 cold hard cash. So keep that in mind there. Now, spending the incursion campaign energy, you get 5,000 points per one incursion energy. This limits at 30 million, but this is around 6,000 incursion energy. This is way more than you're ever going to get free to play per day, <laughs> just so you're all aware. And this is where it comes from. So your daily incursion, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Uh, your daily incursion energy is 144. This is just time based. You know, you get I think it's one per 10 minutes, honestly. So you get like six per hour or something like that. And uh, it's pretty slow. It's really slow, right? I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure it's one per 10 minutes. It's very slow. And, it you know, it's funny. I, I just noticed this, that there, there seems to be like an incursion energy pack as if like maybe that's viable or something that we'll get in the future. I don't know. I just noticed the symbol up here. So I don't know if that's new. Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, you know, it's going to be really, really slow. You're getting 144 daily uh, and then 240 that you could get for doing your 200 cores refresh. This would give you to 384 daily. Now, keep in mind at this point, we're already talking about 300 cores daily for six days, which, you know, is reasonable for some people. For others, it might not be. So just keep that in mind. Uh, total daily points. That's about 1.92 million. And over six days, it's 11.5. So obviously this is way less than the 30 million limit. And to get there, you'd basically have to buy offers. Uh, you know, to get to 6,000, it's a shit ton of coin that you're not going to have. So it's frankly just people are going to be buying. In order to get points for this milestone, to get more points, people are basically going to be spending money on offers or both on gold and on conversion energy. That's the main way that you're going to be getting additional points towards this stupid leaderboard for Apocalypse. Uh, so basically the gold left to spend for this event item is about 17 and a half million gold. So if you take this 44 and you subtract 15 million from the web milestone and about 11 and a half from the incursion energy, you get about 17 and a half million. So that's either 17 and a half million gold flat out that you could spend because obviously it's a one to one ratio, or you can buy some of these orbs. You know, again, I don't know if you're going to be able to double dip as such, like say, for example, I buy one teal orb for 60,000. It cost me 60,000 gold. I don't know if that's going to be the case. Hypothetically, you know, if that is the case, then, you know, you might only need to spend, um, you know, about 9 million gold over six days, you know, if you can double dip with the orbs. But I just, unless these orbs are amazing, I really don't think you should be spending on these orbs as a mean to, uh, as a means to an end. 
I think, you know, if you're going to spend gold, spend your gold, spend it on your characters or whatever, you know, as much as you can. Right. Like, and I know that some people have training module problems. I've been hearing that from some people that they have training module problems. I personally do not, thankfully. But for those of you who do, there's there's a possibility that instead of being able to max out your characters or level them up or whatever, what have you, you might have to resort to buying some of these orbs, in which case I that sucks, you know, especially if the orbs are not very good. Uh, it's not very good value. And, uh, you know, it's it, it, it doesn't feel good. And I, I personally am not a big fan of this event. That's just me. I, I think it's it's way worse than the Captain Carter event, in my opinion, in terms of the layout. But, you know, some people might have might not have some issues with this. I do from a gold spending perspective, just because and, and I, I know that there's going to be other people who like, yeah, you have a, they're sitting on tons of gold and I'm actually recording this before the war season payout. So that's another thing. And I hope that people save that. I mentioned this on the Friday blog post, you know, make sure that you're saving your war season payout because that's going to be really, really important to you having more gold to spend for this event. Right. And so if you decide not to buy any of these orbs, again, you're looking at 17 to 18 million gold that you're going to need to spend flat out. Um, now, you don't need to have this right away, of course. Keep that in mind. You don't need to. It's a six day event. So it just means that over the six days, uh, you're going to need that. Now, on average, how much gold do you get per day? This is within a, the context of a monthly scheme and not not a not a per week scheme, but you would typically get, I would say, anywhere from two to three million gold a day, depending on your activity and what you do. But this is over the course of a month. So because of payouts and other things like that, that it, it would basically average out to about two and a half million gold per day. Uh, I have a gold calculator and then that's kind of when I figured it out. So as far as being able to come up with this 17 to 18 million gold over the six days, it's actually not that hard. But I think it's more for me anyways. It's just the principle of the matter that I don't really like how you're kind of either you're forced to spend a flat out, which is which is OK. But then the secondary is that I don't like that you're kind of the, that some people may be forced into uh, buying these orbs as a means to an end, which may or may not be that good. And I guess I'm saying that now because who knows, right? Maybe these orbs are truly amazing. <laughs> Maybe these augmented frozen gear orbs might have some teal uniques that might be worth spending gold on. Um, it depends on the cost, right? At 60,000, maybe they might be worth buying, perhaps. Uh, but if they're any much higher than that, I mean, like, it's gold that you're not putting in to your main character. So that's what I would focus on first, where you can. Do the one-to-one -one on your characters, and hopefully you can get away with spending on that. And that's personally what I would do myself. And that's what I plan on doing if I can. I'm actually, to be honest, I'm running out of characters that I want to actually put my gold into, which is mostly into my Sinister Six at this point, because I pretty much have every other character that I want to build at 95. I mean, I guess that's a really good position and a unique position to be in that I don't have a lot of characters to actually level up right now. But yeah, I'm going to have to start thinking about where I actually want to put my gold after Craven. So uh, Spider Slayer won't be unlocked and I don't know if I'm actually going to build them. And that leads me to the kind of the final point that I want to make before we close off this video is I don't know if you need to care that much about it necessarily. Uh, I'm not sure how good Spider Slayer is going to be in the grand scheme of things. I don't know if you're actually going to need to have him as part of the Sinister Six, because I'm going to admit right now that my Sinister Six basically kills 95% of the game's content and characters with the without him, with, with, with the lineup that I have right now. And it's whether or not Spider Slayer would be enough to add in to reliably kill um, Super Scroll with the whole team of the Superior Six. That's the only difference that it would make to me. Otherwise, I'm not really that interested in him and building him until I see more. So I would probably do the same and recommend that and, and hold off on building them personally. And of course, there's the leaderboard to this event where the, here, which is going to have those diamond apocalypse and a couple of diamond dawn orb fragments, you know, if you're four to 10 percent or one to three percent. But realistically, the majority of us aren't getting anything like this. It's top 1000 for even just a one diamond apocalypse. And, and personally, it's just I, I wouldn't engage in the leaderboard portion of it because it's just going to be an absolute insane crack infest. That's just me, though, and that's going to be the end of this video, and I hope that you guys have fun with your gold spending. Hopefully that you've saved some gold for this event to be able to spend to at least get them unlocked or get them to the three star or what have you. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's it. And until next time, everybody, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Oilon, <laughs> signing out.